So how much time do you spend disinfecting, sanitising and scrubbing your house? Well, I probably don't spend enough of that actually. And your children as well. Possibly too much. On Anne Mum PD Pro 3 Coffee Group, we are talking about the benefits of allowing our kids to get dirty. Joining us today, Auckland University Professor of Paediatrics, Dr Cameron Grant, and children's educator, Lisa Shardy. Good morning to you both. Good morning. I love to have yeah. you in the studio. Uh, dirt is something near and dear to my heart because I do think I have quite a lot of it in my house. I think I'm winning at this one. <laughs> uh, Cameron, do you think we're overly concerned though about dirt? germs and dirt? Oh, I think we have to remember that germs live with us. They have, they've always lived with us and they form really important roles and if we didn't have germs living with us, we, would, we wouldn't be alive. Okay, mm. so mm. Yeah, so we are a little bit overly concerned with it then? I think so. I think we sometimes try and uh, control things that, that we can't really control and, uh, and that can have some adverse effects on health. Yeah, yeah. Mm. enough with the antibacterial hand washes every two minutes. <laughs> um, Lisa, you run a course that encourages kids to get dirty. What sort of activities do you get up to? Cool, yeah, so I run a holiday program um, in the bush in um, the lovely Kawaipurapura in Albany. Um, and we do all sorts of activities outdoors. Um, so we forage in the forest, we look for kawakawa leaves and we teach children to, um, to, to touch and feel and smell and experience nature um, that you know, there's nothing to be afraid of. Um, so we fully supervise the children. We do all sorts of um, craft activities as well. Um, we do drumming and circus workshops and dance movement sessions and kids yoga. Um, so it's all very um, alternative and um, yeah. Just something a bit different, a bit of a different response from the normal uh, recreational um, indoor school holiday program. Do they get system. to play in the mud? Oh yeah, they do, yeah. Um, so we have some streams um, and muddy patches um, and a fire pit and yeah, the kids the kids love it. So as long as they bring a spare change of clothes, then they're happy. It sounds very <laughs> cool. Um, Cameron, yeah. do you think it's actually, it's actually healthier for children to be exposed to dirt and germs? Well, just listening to what Lisa describes, I mean, it's a great place for them to really let their imagination mm. run wild, isn't it? Yeah. I, I worry now that children don't get much of that time to just Mm. Be involved in completely imaginative mm. play and being mm. out in the bush mm. and the nature is a wonderful place mm. to, to do that. You can become whatever forest creature you yeah, want to be yeah, for exactly. a little period of time yeah. because all the other children out there are doing the same thing rather than having to pretend that you're leading this life mm. that you see uh, on, on screens mm. these days. Mm. Exactly, nothing mm. is pristine, that's yeah. for sure. Um, I always say, Cameron, too, uh, with my oldest child, he was born in Hong Kong, so he spent a lot of time in quite dirty floor environments when he was young and I'm sure he doesn't get sick as much as his brothers do. Mm. Is that truth or am I just making that up? Oh no, there's some evidence that uh, for example children who grow up in, in, in farm settings clearly have different uh, immune systems mm. and responses to things than those who live in a, in a completely urban environment. Mm. So yeah. no, there's, there's certainly probably something in that. Oh that's interesting. Mm. Uh, it, was, it was a lot of nappy sand went through trying to whiten those baby grows again. And <laughs> um, when kids are allowed Lisa to sort of really mm. play and express themselves, do you see them opening up and having a bit more fun? Absolutely, yeah absolutely. So um, what I observe mostly on this program is kids actually starting to expand. Um, they're not stuck on their iPad or their iPhone or the TV or the Xbox um, and so they can actually be the creative child that they are um, and being out in nature means that they're connecting more to themselves, they're connecting more to other children um, and therefore um, to the environment around them. So um, yeah. yeah we see them just having the most fun um, and it means that I'm happy having fun because they're having fun so yeah. it's, it's just incredible and everyone yeah. does well in nature don't they yeah, totally. everyone really does good for the soul mm. uh, so for both of you now what would your advice be to parents I mean what Cameron what would you like to see done a little bit differently I mean, I would like of. to see children being uh, appreciating the fun of playing outside mm. and and just having imaginative play that they mm. that where they create the story rather mm. than the story being created for them mm. Mm. sounds good what about you yeah. Lisa oh I've been thinking about this and I think but like bridging on what you're saying is yeah taking your kids out to the local park or the reserve or the bush that's close by um, just taking them away from the iPad and the, the screens for a couple of hours um, just get them in amongst um, you know feeling and touching and smelling and just like, experiencing the senses um, but I also wanted to say um, instilling somewhat of an accountability of, um, of your actions um, from a young age so children um, knowing that if they don't put their rubbish in the bin where that rubbish might end up in the ocean or you know on the street or whatever so just sort of um, 
starting it from a young age and getting yeah. kids out as much as possible. It so. is vital. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Good, good chat worries. today. Very yes. good chat. Thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us. Our coffee group is brought to you by Ann Mum Pedia Pro 3, the only toddler milk with no added sugars. And if you have any worries that you'd like addressed by our parenting panel, message us on the cafe Facebook page. One contributor will win this toddler prize. Oh, I'm going to pick it up as, as she stumbles for the book. We'll win this, this prize from uh, Ann Mum, this gorgeous teddy bear, a digi book, and toddler milk as well. <laughs>